one, two. The card hit before the second cycle of the pendulum was complete. Now, what I want to do is I want to shorten the pendulum a little bit to make it go a little bit faster and see if I can't synchronize it so that the card hits right at the end of the second cycle. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. One, two. Ah, uh, second cycle ended a little bit early, so we're going to lengthen the pendulum a little bit. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. One, two. Yeah, still a little bit early. Makes the pendulum a little bit longer. Seems like we're getting back to our original length here. Ready? One, two, three. One, two. That was pretty close. Let's see if that's, that repeats. We want to make sure that whatever we're observing is repeatable. Otherwise, it might not have much validity. One, two, three. One, two. Uh, I think I might have counted two a little bit early. I think I was anticipating the cart. Now, I'm going to close my eyes. Actually, I'm going to just look at the pendulum. One, two, three. One, two. Okay, two happened very nearly simultaneously with the cart striking. If I measure the length of the pendulum, I find that it's uh, 25 and a half centimeters long, which tells me something about how long it took the cart to travel down the incline. Okay? Uh, with that information, I can actually determine the rate at which the velocity of the cart changed if we assume that the uh, cart changes velocity at a constant rate on the incline. And we'll justify that assumption later.